hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys today I'm going to show you how you can check uh, SMB protocol status like SMB protocol is enabled or disabled and I will show you how you can enable it also and uh, if you want to you can disable it I will show all these things in this video but before go ahead guys I want to request you if you are a new user for my channel please subscribe and like share with your friends so let us start now so I am using here Windows 10 machine and I will show you through PowerShell command how you can enable or disable or how you can check SMB protocol status if it is enabled or disabled and the same process will be applied for all uh, uh, OS like uh, Windows 10 Windows 8 or Windows Server 2008, 2012 or 2019. So for these always the same command, same script will be used. So I am going to open here PowerShell from here and you need to open as well. Yes. So there are few commands through which you can check the SMB protocol status so I am going to show here Let's get SMB server configuration hit enter so you can see you can see here it is showing enable SMB protocol 1 false and SMB protocol 2 true that means SMB protocol 1 is disabled here because it is showing as false and SMB protocol 2 showing as true that means it is enabled and suppose if you want to check only any specific protocol status then just you need to enter here get as SMB con server configuration space pipeline select enable SMB like if you want to check for SMB2 protocol just enter SMB2 protocol and hit enter you can see here enable SMB2 protocol is true showing true that means SMB2 protocol is enabled so I have enabled here just for to show you how you can disable or enable so it is here uh, enabled so I am going to show you here by disabling SMB2 protocol and again I will show you by enable SMB2 protocol so my main motto is here to show you both process uh, by disabling and enabling SMB2 protocol or SMB1 or any other so I'm going to show you how you can suppose if you have to disable this protocol SMB2 protocol so you need to enter here set SMB server configuration space hyphen enable smb2 sorry yes right enable smb2 protocol space dollar and just enter here false so we are going to disable SMB2 protocol here and again we'll try to enable SMB2 protocol. So just I want actually just I want to show you how you can enable and disable. So as it is already enabled so I am going to show you by disable this and again I will show you by enable this protocol. So just I am going to hit e enter here. Uh, set yeah it's 
uh, it will be here only SMB not SEMB now we'll hit enter I will I will uh, put these all commands all these scripts in this video description you may follow and you may copy and run so you can see here uh, it is saying are you sure want to perform this action so just you need to type your y and hit enter and again we'll check the smb2 protocol status by type this command get smb server configuration space select enable smb2 protocol if you want to check smb1 then just you need to enter here smb1 protocol and hit enter so guys you can see now it's showing enable smb2 protocol is false that means it is disabled and before this it was showing here enabled now i will show you how you can enable it now again so it is showing here as dif uh, as disabled means as a false so now i will show you how you can enable so just you need to do what you need to do here just you need to type here true and hit enter it is again asking are you sure yes and hit enter again we'll check if it is showing enabled means true or not so for that get smb server configuration select space enable smb2 protocol and hit enter so again you can see here enable smb2 protocol is showing as true that means it is enabled now so uh, guys in this way you can enable smb1 protocol as well uh, maybe uh, during enable if you will enable if you enable smb1 protocol then uh, uh, server or system need to be re reboot means restart but in this uh, case means in smb2 protocol it is not required and guys i want to just just i want to let you know why smb2 protocol or smb1 protocol or smb protocol should be enabled suppose if it will be disabled like smb1 or 2 all pro all uh, means smb protocol will be disabled then uh, you will not be able to access the shared file files from the network so that's why we need to assemble uh, we need to enable smb protocols so guys i hope this video will be helpful for you and uh, i hope you will subscribe my channel and like and you are going to share here this video with your friends so guys again request you to please subscribe my channel thanks bye bye